Hello everyone. So in this video, I will talk about how you prepare your muslin uh, to uh, create your stripe design. So uh, it depends on uh, you know uh, angle that you have in terms of the using stripe. So the one that you have actually didn't really use that much of the bias or opposite kind of grain. So it is kind of the uh, natural grain line, you know, here. And they use a little bit of the direction here. So if this is the case, then it's kind of a little bit simple in terms of the uh, uh, muslin preparations. So you will need to measure the uh, width of the stripe. So most of you got this fabric uh, picked up. So if you measure, this is about three of eight. Uh, wide stripe and again if your design is pretty much involved with the uh, body core like a natural grain line like this or someone like this then you know you cut out the muslin and then uh, you will need to uh, draw lines with the same distance with uh, your stripe and some of you may kind of identify which is the black and then which is white if you uh, like to use or some uh, create some uh, pleats to hide or show certain colors so you don't need to really feel all the way but it's kind of uh, easy for you to identify uh, which section is what color that way for example, if you wanted to have like a color, uh, black color kind of dominant in certain part, you can kind of pleat to do that. Okay, so that kind of thing. So this is how you prepare uh, your muslin. I know it's kind of tedious that you have to draw many lines to um, make your muslin work. But it's really necessary. So once you actually make the pattern and then when you turn in your uh, production patterns, actually you will need to put your swatches on the grain line and they need to be really matched. As you see here, this is actually back bodies. I mean, for this one, it's easy because you just use a grain line, you know, here. So it just follow this one. But in terms of where to meet, you know, this is a grain line. And then your uh, stripe should match with that uh, grain line. So it, otherwise, if we, someone needs to replicate your uh, design with the fabric, this fabric, I mean, without this information, with the swatches, it's harder to replicate in terms of the uh, correct place uh, for the notches or uh, stripe, uh, you know, matchings, okay? Same here. This is a front piece because as you see, uh, this front kind of weave the applique here needed to be in certain places, okay? So to achieve that one, you know, the fabric should be, uh, this is gray line, cut out like that. So when you have your patterns and the fabric, and then when you cut out this, this piece from the fabric, this pattern, if you're cutting out this pattern part, you can kind of match like that. So instead of you use this line, if you use this line, do you see how I shifted this? Okay. So this gray line is following this black line. But if you cut out like that, okay, not this, but this, I know it's kind of hard to see from the uh, screen. But instead of you match, you put the, your black line on the uh, grain line like this. If you match your grain line on the white line, 
like this. Your applique will not be placed on here. You know what I'm saying? Rather, it's going to be start somewhere here and then some, like that. So again, if you do not prepare your muslin with the lines like this, it's hard to work on um, print swatches correctly. So if someone applique, uh, you know, make this one uh, with this pattern that provided, it won't be matching. Okay. So that is the case for um, when you have a, uh, you know, don't use a lot of bias grain. But if your design is uh, involved with a lot of the bias grain, so I try to draw a small kind of, so if you're making kind of the, uh, you know, bodies has a lot of angles in terms of stripe, then think about, you know, Draw the line, and then you will need to rotate, okay, to drape uh, your patterns. So as you see, if you are making maybe four inches wide kind of panel, actually I have the example here. So this is the, uh, you know, front bodies here. Okay, so to make this piece, you may not, uh, you may just need four or five inches wide muslin to make these patterns. But when you want angle, do you want to see how much you need? So actually, this one has more lines that I have here. So, if you just want maybe this much angle, then you need this much wider, uh, you know, muslin. And so actually, the angle that I want is like that much. So, see, you will need this much. So if this is the case, your design needs a lot of angled line, like this one, then it's better that you um, drape the piece without line. And then with the just natural kind of grain uh, line. So put the salvage on here. So like this, I did here. And then draw the line that you want in terms of the angle. And then you will bring this uh, draped pattern on here. And then try to cut out. That way you can kind of uh, save a lot of line drawing. And then a lot of the uh, muslin cutting okay so this is my actually front piece here and then i want my angle to be something like this so what i will do is i will cut out my patterns after i draw more lines So this is a 3 eighths inch wide. Okay. I may need to draw more, but I try to cut some air here. And then when you cut, do not cut as it is. Okay, exactly. Rather, I will cut Like this, and then with this piece, I will redrape on the dress form. That's going to be in the uh, a little bit, okay? So same as here. I want this line to be that angle, okay? Then I will need to cut out uh, like this. And then actually I will drape with this piece again on the dress form. Okay, so again, if you are making uh, something like this, which use a uh, grain line like that, then you can uh, use prepare, you know, pre-lined fabric, you know, muslin with your line uh, with the same distance with stripe and then kind of start uh, draping your piece. 
So the one that I'm showing you is if you are using some sort of the interesting angle, you know, chevron kind of type thing, then it's better that you, uh, you know, drape the piece to know about the shape overall. Okay. So I made a kind of torso uh, pattern like this, and then I will draw maybe follow the line. And then put the waistline as a guideline. And then finish it. And then maybe do the same thing. Kind of draw line here and the waistline. And then something like that. So I kind of shaped the overall shape first. And then think about the my stripe angle. So if you want your stripe angle, for the centerpiece, go this way, okay? And then you want your another piece going on the other way. So after you identify this angle, you take out this piece. And then I actually made a shape here. So it, the uh, front piece is like this shape. And then this is my stripe angle for the front piece. And then for the side piece, I got that way angle. Then I, in uh, a minute ago, I talked about how you prepare your muslin for the angled piece. So I cut out a little bit small piece based on the, the piece that I got. Then, I actually appreciate a little bit to know. So this is, as you see, matching my lines that I identify from drape on the uh, stripe on the fabric. So I kind of match this one and then try to appreciate a little bit. Then, you will need to use this piece to drape again. The reason why you have to redrape the piece again is to see whether the angle that you identify from the drape here looks in keep like interesting, you know, and also to see how this grain line work through the bust line and then waistline. Okay, so you will need to uh, redrape with a piece identified like that. Of course, you can, you know, start with the lined muslin to get the angled piece. But again, as I told you, to get this piece, you know, without angle, you may just need to cut five inches wide. But as you see, to get this shape with this angle, do you know how much you need to cut? You cut this much, you know, to get this width with this length, you know, you will need to cut a lot more. So not only you will save a fabric, also it ha kind of easier, easy for you to many the uh, your muslin pieces do that way. So pre-drape, and then identify the angle that you want for each piece, and then bring that piece on the uh, pre-lined uh, pre muslin, and then cut a small piece, and then redrape to see whether this angle is like what you think, okay? And then after that, I will show you how to, uh, you know, cut out uh, the patterns. So I drew the pattern like this, and then this is the one that I identified as an angle. And then when you finish your patterns, cut out uh, your stripe of uh, swatches. And then 
the line that on the uh, swatches need to be matched. So whether this line need to be matched uh, the bottom of your white part or the bottom of the black part. So you will need to identify those and then attach. So you will need to put swatches for the all pattern that you make, okay? Including the details. So if you have a color or waistband, anything uh, that you made the pattern, need to come with swatches.